and welcome to WPLMS tips. In this tip, we are going to cover the WPLMS custom certificates and templates. So the certificates are shown on a user's profile under the certifications section. By default, the certificates take this layout as you can see. So in this tip, we are going to change the certificate layout and build our own custom certificate layout. So certificate templates can be created under the LMS certificate template section. To create a new custom template, we can simply click on add new and we can give a name. Now we can add some content in this certificate template and the content can be created using the short codes given in the bottom of the certificate template setting. So we can simply use these short codes and show the relevant certificate data. So I'm going to quickly create some content using the short codes. So now I added a certificate content and, and I'm going to quickly enable the print and publish this certificate. So we can view this certificate by simply clicking on view post and new tab and we can see the certificate is coming as such. So next if we want to add a background image to our certificate then we can we can either use the background image pattern or we can add the image right in the content itself and then use the custom CSS to align the content over the image. So that totally depends upon the kind of image that you have. If you are adding an image right in the content then it will allow you to have the full image in the certificate no matter what the layout of the what the size of the image is. So for this demo I have created an image on the A4 size which is of the A4 size and I am going to add it right in the content. So as you can see the image is pretty big but since I have added it in the content this will automatically resize to the size of the certificate. So this background image pattern is particularly useful if you want to add a background pattern to your certificate. So now if I publish this, now if I update this and refresh my certificate As you can see the image has automatically aligned and the content is coming below. So we are going to quickly add some CSS and see how it works out. So we go to text mode and we can remove the extra content because there is some content already added in the image and we can clean up. So next is we can start adding classes, custom classes. So you can do this by two methods, either adding the classes directly in the text mode or using the custom class and then targeting these classes. So for this demo, it is, we'll be using both the classes because it's, it is easier to customize this way. Right. So I have added now my custom classes on the content, which is in the certificate. And now I'm going to give the certificate my custom class. And now we can use this class to target each of these content blocks in the certificate. So we are going to use position absolute and adjust the top value to see how it appears.
so we need to increase the top value Okay, so after writing the CSS, adding the CSS with the custom class and the custom classes for the elements, the certificate now appears like this. And we have now student name, certificate course, student marks, and certificate code appearing. And this, this is the background image, which is currently in the visual mode as you can see so now we are going to simply update this since our certificate template design is final now we go to a course and and add the certificate template to this particular course so we edit that course and locate the certificate template section and we add our my certificate template and update the course so once updated if we now refresh the member profile and check the certificate so as you can see it appears perfectly the marks are not appearing because the certificate has been manually assigned using the admin functions as there are no marks allotted for this along with the certificate code if you notice this full is basically an image and it can be printed and downloaded so if you click on print image will appear and it can be printed perfectly on an A4 size sheet so now certificate codes can be validated using a new functionality in the theme for this we need to know the certificate the original certificate template page it is the same page which you have connected in course manager the certificate page it's a blank page with the certificate template so the fallback certificate page so this is the certificate template page which we need to locate and which will be used to verify the certificate code so we can simply search and open this page so now in this page please append the certificate code which is 2018-181-1 if you simply append the certificate code now if we open this template it will show the certificate with the details so this is how a certificate can be validated using the certificate code by the member site so that's it from wplms tips thanks for watching